What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension review for you. So this week we're going to talk about a premium geographical modeling extension that can allow you to create whole cities with just the click of a button. So this week's extension of the week is called Placemaker. So plugin name, Placemaker. Plugin developer, what? How much does it cost? Um, generally, it's $250. At the moment, it's $199 for early adopters. Um, also, it includes a six-month trial if you want to try it out for free. Where do you get it? This extension can be downloaded directly from the developer's website. Uh, I've linked this in the notes below. Tool functions. This extension basically allows you to create an entire city in SketchUp with a single click. It uses data from OpenStreetMap to import buildings, bodies of water, and paths and it also generates roads. This can be great for anyone that does any kind of city planning or downtown or urban building design. In addition, you can download high-resolution high imagery from OpenStreetMap, though you're limited on the amount of imagery you can import at once. This works on a credit system, so once you've used your credits for the month, you can either buy more or wait until the next month. Placemaker gets charged monthly for access to these aerial views, which is why there's a fee for this. Placemaker brings all these items, including the paths, roads, vegetation, and buildings, in on different layers, allowing you to turn any of them on and off. In addition, you can also bring buildings in on terrain, allowing for true geographical context. You can also tour your model side by side with Google Street View, so that you can see what the actual buildings look like from any given view. All in all, if you do any work that involves actually modeling a city or geographical areas, this, this extension is very useful. It also brings in data from all over the world, so it's very useful in a lot of areas. It definitely carries a premium price tag, but if you work for any kind of design studio that does this kind of work, and you actually have to go in and model cities, this is actually fairly inexpensive for a software that does something like this, and could also save you days of work. So anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this extension tutorial. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you might use? Is it just a little too expensive for you? I'd just love to hear what you think about this. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, please remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.